from this to this out with the old in with the new it's time for the polytunnel build let's go so this is the uh, the usable remnants from the greenhouse so these ones I'm going to reuse for I've got little projects in mind so these are the windows for it I'm going to make a uh, cold frame these are going to be the top of the cold frame all these polycarbonate panels are gonna go on to line the compost bays to stop uh, anything going through the holes so they're going to come to some good use and then this cardboard is clearly going to be used for no dig beds isn't it but yeah so that's that's our my nice polytunnel it's uh three meters by two meters and yeah, it's a super strong one. Um, reinforced galvanised steel. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. The all-important instruction manual. I say manual. It's about three sheets. Let's hope it, <laughs> it's easier to put together than that nightmare greenhouse. It looks pretty straightforward. It's um, clipped together type one. We see this really good thick reinforced. It's then little clips. So. Um, one of my plot neighbours has actually got the exact same uh, polytunnel and he said it was really good and easy to put together. Obviously putting the cover on is a bit of a two-man job, it's a bit of a push and pull. But yeah, hopefully it should be good. So I am up for a plot again today and it's absolutely beautiful. I've just back from a trip so I want to try and get on with um, the polytunnel build, finish the frame, get it all trenched in and um, staked down, protected from the wind and um, beautiful day to do it. I'm going to try and get the cover on. I'm off for um, four days now so I've got a nice amount of time to try and get stuff done and it looks like it's going to stay dry at least and the weather's just been shocking lately. So. Let me show you where we're up to and what I'm going to do now. So, since you last saw this, we had just a, an update. We've got all the frame up. All the frame is up. And um, all I need to do now is position this, stake each corner. I've got some steel rods. Um, and I'm going to dig some trenches four sides and then when the cover goes over it will get uh, buried so it's literally going to be secured with an inch of its life um, so this is what I need to do I need to position this stake it down dig the trenches that's what I'll main task I want to do today and hopefully I'll be able to get the cover on tomorrow but I just wanted to show you this because I didn't actually I didn't actually uh, film me doing this it was a miserable day but remember I needed to flip the compost bays ok 
can you spot the difference? Yeah, a lot of work went into this. Um, I'm going to put a reel out showing this and um, also be on my Instagram as well. I took a lot of pictures but no film, I just needed to get stuck in. But I needed to move this, it wasn't initially in the plan, I wanted to do this first. But I needed the space as you can see down here because this is now going to shift this way to give me space all the way around to trench it in. But let me look at the older uh, new compost base setup. There we go. Excuse the shadow. But yeah, I've managed two full bays. The other two pallets are rotten, so I've discarded them. But I've got a bit of a, a better setup, I think, what I'm going to do. It's got this Dalek. Uh, this is going to be for my finished compost, or almost finished, and that's going to get filled up. And then I'm going to use these two bays, basically, for new and halfway through. So, yeah. And what I've done here, can you see? This is all the polycarbonate that I've basically screwed into the sides of these. And this is the polycarbonate from the greenhouse. So, an attempt to reuse, recycle. Really happy with this. And this should obviously stop it going through the gaps and stuff like that. And hopefully keep it a bit warmer. Um, but yeah, so I've got some half finished stuff under here. But... Obviously, this is the, the <laughs> work in progress that came out of the old, uh, old compost base setup. That's to be tidied. Now, this is the rough compost that you might have seen a couple of weeks ago. So, I've got plans for this. This came out, I thought, rather than put it back in, I am going to do, um, obviously, my birdies beds, which are going to be over here. So, I'm going to use this as a Hugel culture method, and I'm going to get some old logs and branches and they're going to go to the bottom then this is going to be formed sort of the middle layer and they'll top it off with some compost so that is the project that's coming up after the polytunnel which hopefully should be done in a couple of days so yeah that is project number three two who's counting So I've driven these about the half of their height down. So it's a good half of that in the ground and then massive thick cable ties, top and bottom. Same for here. And then just use some more extra, of these bars that I had just in the centre, just to stabilise it, driven those down. Same for these. These like brand new ones, these black ones, they were from Wix, there are five or each, but I think it's just well worth it just try and keep this well and truly anchored down and once it's trenched in, it should be good. Right, digging.
So I think you can probably see trenches all dug out right there around and the front parts here. So shouldn't really do it on my own. Didn't say I was gonna do it on my own, but I think I'm gonna attempt the cover. It's not too windy. I'm just impatient, you know, let's face it. I just want it done, it's a nice day. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Okay, let's try it. So I've come up with a plot today because I had a bit of a nightmare yesterday. It's day two today, nice and rainy, nothing like it was yesterday. And yes, the hair's been cut. You're not seeing things. So yeah, SD card ran out yesterday with the camera. I didn't realize, I carried on filming. Uh, well, I thought it was filming, but it wasn't filming. So I thought I'd come up today and show you the progress, nearly completion of the Polytour. So excited, let me turn you around and you can have a look for yourself. Well, there she is, there she is. Amazing, look at that. I'm so excited, I can't, I'm so, so happy. Look, look, look. Right, so yeah, trenched all down this side. As you can see here, I've put membrane down and barked it over. This is gonna be a nice storage area by the side of the shed. I'm gonna put some things attached to the, the shed here and get some storage here. Um, and I can gain access down this side very easily and then I've got some, all my access here and this is for my my compost setup and then what I want to try and do here maybe some more plants or something I'll have a little think but yeah I want to get some maybe some more storage here that I can do for, you know get a chest or something to put my nets in and things like that get them out of the shed but look at this beauty I'm so happy I am ecstatic ecstatic uh, got some sun there and uh, that's going to be coming in useful for inside so let me show you inside now you can see my couple of setups looking fabulous I'm going to paint all this I've got some leftover green paint so this is going to look fabby uh, let's go in let's go ta-da Look, so this, um, these are the paving slabs I'm going to be using. I'm going to put a path down the, the centre here. Uh, I've got a couple more paving slabs to go in here, but this is obviously what the sand is going to be useful for to level this out. Under that cloche is um, just some peas that I protected. It was really cold last night, so I shoved them in here. And then I'm going to put raised beds on the sides here. Uh, there's some scrap wood and stuff. Let's go in and have a look. As you can see, it's all nicely staked and all the uh, six poles, the down poles, it's really well staked and anchored into the ground and then managed to get this uh, this cover really taut that it's helpful um, these velcro strips and stuff but yeah it's looking great isn't it hey I'm so happy you know I mean look at this space now it's gonna, gonna be such a game changer so excited so yeah Polytunnel is up, yes, I'm so happy, like literally so excited. It's gonna be amazing in here now. I mean, what a summer it's gonna be. Um, I say, got all this to sort out, got the inside to do, so that is gonna be the next project, but the Polytunnel is up. Did it on my own, very proud of that. Um, yeah, so inside is the next project. 
So the beds, get the path and stuff like that. So I'll probably come up tomorrow and do that. It's absolutely chucking it down now. Um, but yeah, no, it doesn't matter, does it? Tomorrow if it's raining, because I'll be in here working. Yes. Um, but yeah, so I've got this project. The next project after that, as I said, is going to be the birdies beds. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be our Hugo culture method of building those beds up. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with that. Um, but yeah, some exciting stuff to come. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Now, if you are enjoying the channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Go back and have a look at my other videos if you're really enjoying it. Tell everyone about it. It really does help my channel um, if you like and um, share and subscribe and stuff like that. So thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.